what's happening. I just want to share this little experience that I just had. You know what I'm saying? It was pouring down rain. You know what I'm saying? I heard there was a uh, there's a storm over uh, on the east coast there, and it's working its way over here. You know, and it, we just had a large rain. We needed it though. The the ground is uh just it can use the rain. The environment can use it. It's you know that's how your herbage gets bigger is by the rain intake. But it was raining really hard, man. It's Mother's Day. We had a plan for a family picnic. And the rain is just coming down. Like, and here's another thing. I was in the parking lot. And I was watching people running back and forth. And everyone was all, it was all congested. And I was thinking about in the book of Samurai. It talks about like how the samurai walks in the rain. While everyone else is running around like chickens with their heads cut off. But the samurai made it in his mind up at, uh, in the beginning. Either way, you're going to get wet. So you might as well not let it take your peace or your calm. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, you're going to still get to your destination, but it just, you got to get wet. Same thing like getting your, you know, baptism. <laughs> you got to get wet <laughs> to get baptized, man, of that water baptism. You know what I'm saying? Of the, I, I kind of feel it's like ceremonial, you know what I'm saying? And it's, uh, it's also kind of like, uh, it's your own personal choice because you'll just come to that point where you're like, you'll have a compulsion to want to do these things. But when my mom was complaining about the rain, I thought to myself within my mind and in my heart, and I prayed earnestly. I was like, I just asked God to stop the rain. And about 15 minutes later, the rain just stopped. Birds are chirping and everything. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, here's the thing. Did I stop the rain? I prayed for it. But no, ultimately... If the rain was stopped because of my prayer, it was God who who stopped the rain. It wasn't me. I mean, and and this might it might have just been scheduled to stop anyway. But I prayed about it, and then when it happened, I thanked God. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I I I have to, you have to do just like I work out. You know what I'm saying? And I train. I strive for masteries. You know what I'm saying? Uh. You have to also do that with your prayer sometimes. You have to try to move a mountain with, with your prayer. Not with your mind, not with your will, not with your intention. With your faith, with your obedience to God's will. You know what I'm saying? And, and once you see how this, that's how you move a mountain. Once you get in accordance to his will, you know it was meant to move anyway. But God was going to do it. It's not you. You just learn how to tap into God's internet, his spirit internet. Like I was, you know, I keep saying animal internet. I'm just trying to, this is a term that people can connect with. You don't need no matrix machine to plug into the back of your head here. This is something that's going on in here. And you're in that 11 ounces of whatever leaves your body when you, when, when it dies, whatever that, uh, essence is there is what you use to have these things. You know, I've been having premonitions, you know what I'm saying? I've been having visions. I've had God answering prayers left and right, and I'm thanking God all the time. You know, not enough, not enough. Yet still, I'm still distracted by the world. I'm still caught up in the turmoil and the chaos myself, watching the rioters. Like I'm sitting in amazement and astonishment. I'm in astonishment every day, every single day. I'm in astonishment at God because his word is true. He is working, but yet, why doesn't everyone else see this? Why do why where where what is this veil? What is this strong delusion that these people must be smoking? You know what I'm saying? They got to be smoking some strong delusion in the spiritual manner is which I mean. I mean not talking about necessarily anything like that. You know, you just got to use terms that people can relate with. You know what I'm saying? And it's common to us now. So it it these common terms are like loaded terminology. It's terms that you can, boom, put out there and they set on fire through people, through the collective consciousness, and they blaze a trail. You're, 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 it's like blockage. You know what I'm saying? It's like, listen, there, in, in the Bible, it talked about there was men. They were, some, they were some, in some books, they're called spies. But it was also, it was the children of the handmaiden. Like, basically, these, these dudes were your... They were like Green Berets, man, or your Navy SEALs of the of the 12, of the family of Israel. Because, I mean, it's a family, man. It's not 
that's the way you got to look at it. It's family. It's it's the family of of the tribes of men. It's a portion of it, you know. And you once you understand this, you know what I'm saying. It's just like any other family. There's problems. There's reconciliation. There's betrayals. There is a uh, jealousy between the brethren. You know what I'm saying. Each person's got their own little niche. You know what I'm saying, or their own characteristics, and that's the way God made us, man. He made us so we're all, though we, we're all individuals, yet we are all humans. We're all man. I mean, we're all man, man and woman, which is man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but there was these guys that he would send in first, uh, or the you know the leaders would send in, and they would go scope the land out, and they would also be the first into battle. They would go lead the way. You know what I'm saying? So that, you know, uh, the other uh, tribes could come in, you know, on the back of these guys. You know what I'm saying? So that the, these are God's brave men who he's got to send in first. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's like when you see someone walk the same trail after a while, there's no grass. It turns into dirt. Like, and it's like when you walk, there ain't nothing to bash your feet in because it's the trail's been worn down. Some of us got to go in. We are the guys that got to scale the wall and open the door. I mean, God's going to open the door, but listen, he still is dependent on us to scale walls. You know what I'm saying? And uh, lead the way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, listen, it's a joy. You know what I'm saying? Because this doesn't, this is a metaphor because it doesn't really mean nothing violent or nothing of that nature. It's more of a spiritual thing. And if you don't understand, it's because you're not spiritually minded. 